Did they say something? Did you see one? Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here in a rather warm and sunny Blackpool and uh, there's something special happening tonight. We've got the peak of the annual Perseid meteor shower happening tonight. So I'm just doing this bit of an introduction to the video. In fact, I haven't done a video on this channel for quite a while. So I hope you're glad to see me doing another video. Now the Perseid meteor shower, I normally do a video on them every year, like a preview to them, shooting stars flying across the sky like that. But I didn't do one this year. I was a little bit too busy. And also uh, this year, unfortunately, the display is going to be affected by a rather large and bright gibbous waning moon. It's about 80% full. So that's going to spoil our fun a little bit. So anyway, what's happening today? It, ha it actually goes on for quite a while, about a couple of weeks, but we reached the peak tonight. And that means that the Earth is going through a... Uh, a dust trail of a comet and it does it every year so that's how they always know when it's going to be and it's the dust in that tail that comes through the earth's atmosphere and it creates these shooting stars across the sky now the Perseid meteor shower actually is supposed to have around about a hundred meteors per hour but that's only if you could see the whole sky and if the radiant that's the point from where the meteors come from was was high up in the sky well that's never going to happen so really normally what we would normally expect to see if you were looking for them properly if you were actually out there looking for them somewhere dark and the moon wasn't in the way you'd probably expect to see maybe 20 to 30 or something like that now like i mentioned before we're going to be heading up to a dark sky site which is around about 25 minute drive it's in Pilling, which is on the southern tip of Morecambe Bay. So it's about 25 minutes away from Blackpool. Guess it's away from the light pollution of Blackpool. But unfortunately, we do have that bright moon in the way. And that rises dead early. It rises about half past nine. So that moon is going to be in the way all night. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head up to this site with my Astro Club. There's going to be a few other people there. There's going to be quite a few of us up there. And hopefully, if we look away from the moon, anywhere in the sky, away from the moon, whenever it gets dark. So now this time of year, we're looking at it getting dark around about 10.30 to 11 o'clock, properly dark, that is. But because we've got that moon in the sky, we don't want to be looking towards the moon. If you want to see a shooting star, if you want to see a meteor, you're better off choosing a moonless night. Or if the moon is up, look away from the moon. Because the moon tonight is going to cause quite a bit of glare. And that's going to be a problem. You'll see it later on. If you keep watching the video, you'll see it. That's what I'm going to do. In the next scene, I will be up there meeting my friends from the Astro Club. And hopefully we might get to see some of the really bright ones. You know, the fireballs that will show up in the glare of the moon. So hopefully we'll get to see some of those. So let's go and do that in the next scene. I will be up in Pilling, our dark sky site, and hopefully we'll get to see some of these Perseid meteors. Now then, just look at that sky behind us. We're now at our dark sky site up here on the southern banks of Morecambe Bay. That way is looking north, straight that way. Well, it's not perfectly clear. We have got a little bit of cloud, as you can see. Well, hopefully that will clear. Now, there is a slight problem because we are going to have the moon coming up and the moon is going to come up somewhere over there any time it's going to start to rise any time now as i speak um, i'll film it for you a bit later on when it gets going but the moon is going to hamper our 
chances of seeing as many meters as you can. So I'll set, my, set a few cameras up and uh, look in different directions, but mainly we're gonna to have to look that way because that's where the clearest sky is over there to the north and the northwest over there. Just look at that, can you see the color? The, the sunset must have been amazing. Well, actually the sunset was amazing because I saw it back in Blackpool when, when I was on the way up, it was absolutely amazing. Anyway, we're gonna wait for it to get a little bit darker. I'll set some cameras up. We'll see if we can see some Perseid meteors. Right, okay, I'm just going to sit down in the van. I've got myself a cup of tea, look. Got a cup of tea here. So I've just made myself a cup of tea, and um, there's quite a few people here, actually. You know, we've got a few... Obviously, we've got the members of our club, and we've got a few other people who are guests as well. So we've got quite a few people here. They're all setting up now. They're all lining up with the tripods out here now i've set my camera up now at the moment i've just set it up to do a time lapse of the clouds uh, the clouds are breaking up by the way it's mostly clear to the north and we can also see the brightness from the moon as well so the moon is risen and that's going to be a little bit bright it's going to brighten up the sky so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set my camera up to take pictures of the sky and i'm going to use a fairly long exposure I am using an 18mm f1.8 lens, which is pretty fast. And the idea is that you want to try and catch the meteors. And if you use something that's a little bit too, too um, low sensitivity, you probably won't catch them. So um, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, let's hope we get lucky. We're still waiting for it to get dark, although, it, it, you know, we're probably about half an hour away from complete darkness. So uh, wish us luck. Okay, I've just seen my first meteor. Everyone else was seeing meteors before me, but I finally saw one. We started seeing them from around about half ten, or at least other, the other people were seeing them. And I thought, oh no, when, when am I going to see one? I kept looking the wrong way, but I finally got to see one. It was a bit of a blink and miss it. Now, I've done some time lapses now. It's unlikely that I will have caught any of the meteors on the time lapses because they're all very, very quick fleeting affairs. They move across the sky so quickly that they probably won't look like much on the camera. So what we're really after are fireballs, something that will really light up the sky and show up on the camera, despite the moon. And the moon is really getting up now. I'm just looking towards it now. The moon is actually starting to cause quite a bit of glare, but it's still relatively low and it's out of the way to one side. And we've got this nice clear sky out towards the north and the west, and it's clearing up. The clouds are clearing out of the way. So let's hope that we can get some more meteors and hopefully some brighter ones. Okay, it's now just after one o'clock and how many meters have I seen since I've been here? I got here about half past nine. Now it wasn't dark then of course we had to wait until at least half past ten before it got reasonably dark. I've seen two. Just two. Now everybody else saw quite a few more than me. The only thing is I'm pretty much here on my own now. All of my group have left. Everybody's gone. There's still a few people here. You know, there's some people over there. And there's quite a lot of people here tonight at this place. It's quite popular. But I'm a little bit disappointed, folks, because I know we've got the bright moon. If you look over this way, the moon is really getting up there now and it's really affecting the sky. 
I mean, you can see where you're walking without having to use, um, you know, a torch or anything like that because the moon just lights up everywhere. If I manage to capture anything myself, what I'll do at the end is I'll put some time lapses on because I've done quite a few time lapses and you never know, I might have caught something on there. I wasn't using um, like a really long exposure, eight seconds, ISO 400. I was using uh, an 18 millimeter lens at f1.8. So I have quite a fast lens, but nothing too special apart from that. And uh, you never know, I might have captured something. Uh, I might hang around for a little bit longer yet, but uh, that's it for this video. Um, it's been enjoyable. There's been quite a few people here. We've had a good laugh, um, especially with me missing all the meteors and everyone else seeing them. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there now. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit subscribe. And most of all, don't forget to keep looking up.